Going out of our comfort zone and adventuring into different landscapes and cultures is a very rewarding experience. However, understanding the risks and preparing in advance is really essential. For every other unexpected bad surprises, we have equipment. To be safe, the first rule is to observe, understand and adapt to different kind of nature and people we are visiting. For example, in some countries we need to get vaccinated against some diseases, in some other countries we might face dangerous animals. On the other hand, in some poor countries you might look like a walking ATM, in other countries you might look too provocative or vulnerable. So preparation is the key. Also be aware, be confident and be kind when you are traveling. So let's see what I carry for the unexpected. The first item on my list is Wii Knife Elementum. This is a titanium knife with a blade of 7.5mm and this is legal in most of the countries. I carry this knife always on my waist in the inner side of the trousers, especially in very crowded places. Um, I use it for preparing food, for self-defense. Actually, I never had to use it for self-defense. This is a 98 grams knife. It's very, very easy to deploy. Um, it's very stable for a folding knife. The only downside of this knife is that it is very expensive. It costs 200 euro. For adventuring long days into the wilderness, I recommend something more as a bushcraft knife. Um, I use Netfos Berglöwe, a knife which costs around 50 euro. It has a 4 mm blade, 10 cm long, so it's also legal to carry around and it weighs 200 grams. Uh, it comes with a nice cover, which is, this price is pretty crazy, and it's a really great outdoor knife to use basically for camping and for mountain biking and for doing everything in nature. Uh, we will abuse it in our coming one year mountain bike tour. Ah, and talking about the devil. If you like our channel, subscribe now, follow us on other social media networks and consider supporting our next world mountain bike tour on PayPal or Patreon. We will start in one month from Germany and we will ride towards the east through the Alps, Balkan countries, Turkey, Georgia, Kyrgyzstan, Asia, New Zealand, Peru, as much as possible on off-road trails. Every coffee you'll offer us on PayPal or Patreon will make possible for us to take you along one year with us in our adventure. The next item on my list is the most controversial and it is in the grey area of being legal. I'm talking about a Nextorch 23 expandable stick. So it weighs about 300 50 grams uh, and it is manufactured from aluminium and steel. Um, it is also retracted by pushing a button at the end um, of the stick. Since it doesn't weigh much, it can be used for um, rapid attacks, but you, you need a really good technique for that. I have disguised it as a selfie stick, so I avoid questions uh, when being stopped by the police. Um, so this is basically the most legal solution I could find that works well against dogs, people and god forbidden bears. Maybe protecting yourself against bears with a knife and, it and with an expandable baton is a very bold move. Uh, so better alternative is to use a bear repellent spray, such a bear defender. Um, I never had to use it, so I cannot really tell you if it works well or not. The last item I bought for our one-year mountain bike tour is a Garmin Enrich Mini 2 satellite communicator, uh, which sends GPS position to your loved ones. Um, you can basically update every 10 minutes to 4 hours. Um, and it can also call for rescue if you are in a life-threatening situation. Um, it requires a monthly subscription, but hey, life itself is priceless. That's it! These are the items I'm using. 
and hey tell me your opinion um, about them in the comments below and if you have any other uh, gear that works great just share them with us in the comments below stay safe